Hey, looks like we have a math problem on the board. This one's an integral. We've got the integral from zero to infinity, x to the sixth, e to the minus eight x to the 14th dx. Okay, this is pretty messy looking with the combination of um, exponential and like large powers and stuff. I think what we're gonna wanna do is compare this to the Gaussian integral. Okay, we have here on the right our formula for the Gaussian integral. So if we have something in this form, we notice that our solution is going to be square root of pi. Now, this second one looks like it's going to be more useful for us because we've got the bound of zero, okay? And then if we do that, because this is an even function, with an even function, you change the bound, bring a two out front, dividing by two, you get this square root of pi over two. So really similar to this first part. And then the challenge is with what we actually have, well, we don't have a square power. We have, we have x to the 14th. And we got this x to the sixth up front. So let's see if we can simplify this and manipulate it somehow so we can use this formula. And the first thing what I want to do is take this exponent. And what I'm going to do, instead of having it as 8x to the 14th, I'm going to write it as square root of 8x to the 7th squared. And the reason I'm doing this is because this formula over here has a 2. So I'm going to just kind of try to force that to happen. And now we're kind of creating that square term. Okay, now that I've rewritten my exponent, what I want to do next is... I want to see, we need to get rid of this x to the 6 somehow, and we also want to simplify this. So let's see if we can do a u substitution and just kind of clean this up. So my u is going to be square root of 8, x to the 7th. And we'll take our derivative, so our du is going to be 7 square root of 8, just using power rule, x to the 6 dx. And of course, that's pretty convenient because we have our x to the 6 right here. Okay, so not bad. Let's just kind of create this 7 square root of 8. I'll just kind of write that in small. But then we'll have to divide by it as well. And now let's just make our substitution. So we'll have 1, 7 square root of 8. We'll plug infinity in here. Infinity to the 7th is infinity. 0 to the 7th is 0. So that doesn't change at all, which is great. We'll have our e. This was our u. So we're going to have e to the minus u squared. And then this with this is just our du. Okay, so now writing this answer, we're going to have 1 over 7 square root of 8 times square root of pi over two. I'm gonna do a quick simplification on this. What I'm gonna do with my square root of eight, I'm gonna use for square root of eight, two square root of two. And so then rewriting this for the final answer, we have seven times two, 14 times two. I'm gonna have one over 28 square root of pi, but we have this two here, so we'll have square root of pi over two, and that's it. Got this problem from my quiz, Gaussian Integrals. I'll provide a link in the description. Hope you check that out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.